Welcome to the Mind Duty. Today we bring you about 10 reverse psychology tricks to use while dating. Playing mind games isn't the most ideal method when you're considering getting into a serious relationship, as it can come across manipulative if handled with zero finesse. However, there's irrefutably a psychological tug of war game at play when it comes to dating. Since we are all more than capable of pulling off this finesse, below are 10 effective reverse psychology tips and tricks to sufficiently, and harmlessly, season your everyday situationships and relationships. Number 1. Be elusive. It's only human to crave a relationship with someone who you can share every aspect of your life with, from work worries to random food cravings. But instead of giving too much away at the drop of a hat, it's time to wear your mask and give them the chance to put in work. Don't lay everything out on the table and don't be suspiciously available every time they ask to see you. This reverse psychology method works because you are not suffocating them relentlessly with your everyday happenings. Rather, by maintaining this mystique, you're allowing them to want to initiate conversation, heightening their curiosity and interest in you, your whereabouts and plans. You're displaying that you have a stable life with or without them, and who doesn't like a well put together person. Number 2. Complain for compliments. This looks strange at first glance, but it's highly likely that we're all familiar with this reverse psychology trick. If you want to receive a compliment about your hair or outfit, for example, then just complain about it. Your partner will most likely disagree and assure you that you look fine and even throw in a couple other compliments to convince you otherwise. Number 3. Stop being so submissive. Yes, the small gestures are sweet, but don't be so compliant and giddy over easily attainable things, such as them seeing you for a couple of hours after work. For this particular method, you need to establish your independence instead of being too tame and accommodating. Don't just settle and sit around for plans to be made by them, be bold and assertive by organizing your own plans and fitting them into your schedule. Remember, you're just as important as them, so don't be easily swayed or controlled by their movements. Number 4. Give them space relax, you can still breathe without knowing their every move. As per the last method, don't be that dependent person whose heart skips a beat when they finally reply to your text. Give your partner space, that way you'll both miss each other and have more to share when you next see or speak to each other. To achieve this desired closeness and intimacy, the reverse psychology here requires the opposite which is to give each other some space and distance. Number 5. Work on yourself, for yourself. We're so used to changing up our routines for our love interests that we neglect our own needs. There's always time to work on yourself for yourself. That way, you'll show that you're an ambitious person with your personal agenda to work towards. Get involved in fitness, cooking, arts, and all kinds of alternative hobbies to help enrich yourself as a person. Number 6. Play nice even when they're not. Sure, playing mind games isn't exactly the sincerest way to get what you want out of a relationship, but it's better than constant bickering or making emotional threats towards your partner. We're used to resorting to emotional blackmail, threats, and unnecessary drama to get our way or maintain the upper hand, but with this tip, you don't need to do that anymore. Be the bigger person and play nice, 
especially when they're being unreasonably cruel as they'll soon come to their senses and realize they were being irrational in comparison to your cool self. Works like a charm. Number 7. Be unpredictable. People typically favor more spontaneous, fun times in relationships. Why else do you think people stick around for far too long in toxic, hot and cold relationships? Predictability is boring, no one wants a dull, monotonous relationship with their partner. So, if you're looking to have someone be more intrigued and interested in you, the trick here is to be bold and unpredictable. Organize fun outings, look for more quirky activities to do, and be daring. Number 8. Challenge them. This is a fun reverse psychology trick to use while flirting. All you need to do is to simply state that you don't believe they're capable of delivering whatever you've challenged them to. For example, if you say that you don't think they can arrive on time for your next date, they're more likely to want to prove you wrong and end up doing exactly what you want, which is for them to arrive on time for your next date. Just make bets and challenges to spice things up and have them unintentionally do what you want them to do. Number 9. Goodbye Green-Eyed Monster. Being jealous is not a part of this equation. If you show too much jealousy and possessiveness, that will probably steer your partner away, though hints of it can be cued. The stronger, overprotective emotions are usually deemed unattractive and can make a relationship quickly turn sour. You're a catch, so tame that green-eyed monster and remind yourself not to get heavily worked up over things. 10. Don't listen to this. As expected, you listen to this. This is exactly the simple reverse psychology associated with our human nature. We're inclined to reject being told what to do and attempt to do the very opposite, out of curiosity or defiance. If you tell someone not to worry or to not get jealous, they will likely overthink things and end up getting worried or jealous. What do you think? Do agree with these facts or need to add more? Leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button.